Hi, welcome to America's Freedom Media. I'm your host, The Angry American. Tonight I've got a video of President Trump hitting back on the uh, fake news media in regards to the Charlottesville riot. They can dish it out to President Trump. He can take it, but it seems they can't take it when he decides to hit back. Watch the clips I've got for you, and I'll be back to talk to you some more during the video. I didn't wait long. I didn't wait long. I wanted to make sure, unlike most politicians, that what I said was correct, not make a quick statement. The statement I made on Saturday, the first statement, was a fine statement. But you don't make statements that direct unless you know the fact. It takes a little while to get the facts. You still don't know the facts. And it's a very, very uh, important process to me. And it's a very important statement. So I don't want to go quickly and just make a statement for the sake of making a political statement. I want to know the facts. You see, if they you can't go back stand the fact that President Trump will it. wait for the facts it. and not jump to conclusions, unlike former presidents. As I said on, remember this, Saturday, we condemn in the strongest possible terms this egregious display of hatred, bigotry, and violence. It has no place in America. And then I went on from there. Now, here's the thing as to, excuse me, excuse me. Take it nice and easy. Here's the thing. When I make a statement, I like to be correct. I want the facts. This event just happened. In fact, a lot of the event didn't even happen yet as we were speaking. This event just happened. Before I make a statement, I need the facts. So I don't want to rush into a statement. So making the statement when I made it was excellent. In fact, the young woman, who I hear is a fantastic young woman, and it was on NBC, her mother wrote me and said through, I guess, Twitter, social media, the nicest things. And I very much appreciated that. I hear she was a fine, really, actually, an incredible young woman. But her mother on Twitter thanked me for what I said. And honestly, if the press were not fake, and if it was honest, the press would have said what I said was very nice. But unlike you and unlike, excuse me, unlike you and unlike the media, before I make a statement, I like to know the facts. They don't. They don't. They don't. You see, it's become very facts. apparent unlike that no matter what this president does or what this unlike president says, it will never be good I didn't know David the Duke was there. And that's a shame I because I really don't want to give the man a chance. And the facts, as they started coming out, were very well stated. In fact, everybody said his statement was beautiful. If he would have made it sooner, that would have been good. I couldn't have made it sooner because I didn't know all of the facts. Frankly, people still don't know all of the facts. It was very and important. Eight years excuse of Obama me, excuse jumping me. the gun it was and very making important ridiculous to statements that to turned out to be untrue. Because they I really made can't a stand this and president. The first statement was made and they really can't stand the fact that he other than waits what we were seeing. for the facts. The second and he statement waits was made for the after, knowledge with and knowledge, doesn't with jump to conclusions. Knowledge. There's still things, excuse me, there's still things that people don't know. I want to make a statement with knowledge. I wanted to know the facts. Okay. Was this two questions. Was this terrorism? And can you tell us how you're feeling about your chief strategist? Well, I think the driver of the car is a disgrace to himself, his family, and this country. And that is, you can call it terrorism. You can call it murder. You can call it whatever you want. I would just call it as the fastest one to come up with a good verdict. That's what I'd call it. Because there is a question, is it murder, is it terrorism? And then you get into legal semantics. The driver of the car is a murderer. And what he did was a horrible, horrible, inexcusable thing. Can you tell us how you're can feeling you about your chief strategist, Mr. Bannon? Can you Go talk ahead. about that? I, I would echo Maggie's question. Uh, Steve Bannon is I never spoke to Mr. Bannon about it. Can you tell us broadly what your uh, do you have still have confidence well, in Well, we'll see. And look, look, I like Mr. Bannon. He's a friend of mine. Defend your national security advisor, H.R. McMaster, against the I did it the last time. And he called on it again, linking the Senator two McCain? to the alt-right. And Senator saying, McCain, you mean the one yes. who voted against uh, Obamacare? And he said who that... Who is Senator... You mean Senator McCain who voted against Senator us getting good health care? McCain yeah. said that the alt-right is behind these attacks, and he linked 
that same group to those who perpetrated the attack in Charlottesville. Well, I, I don't know. I can't tell you. I'm sure Senator McCain must know what he's talking about. Uh, but when you say the alt-right, uh, define alt-right to me. You define it. Go ahead. Well, I'm saying, uh, no, Senator, define it for me. Come on. Let's go. Define Senator it. McCain this is great. Them the president the gives her a What about the alt-left that came charging at the, excuse me, see this what one, about the alt-left that came charging at the, as you say, the alt-right? Do they have any semblance of guilt? This is Senator Senator what, let, let me ask you this. What about the fact they came charging, that they came charging with clubs in their hands, swinging clubs? Do they have any problem? I think they do. Sorry, so, you know, as far as I'm concerned, that was a horrible, horrible day. Wait a minute. I'm not finished. I'm not finished, fake news. That was a horrible day. I will tell you something. I watched those very closely, much more closely than you people watched it. And you have, uh, you, you had a group on one side that was bad, and you had a group on the other side that was also very violent. And nobody wants to say that, but I'll say it right now. This is exactly you had a group, why we elected you had a group President on the other Trump, side because that he came speaks his mind, just like permit, the rest of us, and, they were very, and he calls very out the poor crap wherever he sees it. Thank you, Mr. President. Go ahead. Sir, do you think that the, what you call the alt-left is the same as neo-Nazis? The oh, Antifa people, all of and those the white people, supremacists, me, I've white nationalists, whatever you want to call them, I've are two sides to the same groups. coin. They are but not all of those people and morally were reprehensible. Believe me, not all of those people were white supremacists by any stretch. Those people the president's absolutely were absolutely correct. Because they not all of the people on the right the were white supremacists, nor so, were all the people me, on the left. And you take a look at some Antifa. of the groups, and you see, and you know, not all bad. Not all were bad, not all were bad cases, people. But However, many of those people they should not have mixed themselves. Protest. And with the crowd that they the did, because Robert it Lee. makes so, them look this that week bad. it's Robert E. Lee. I noticed that Stonewall Jackson's coming down. I wonder, is it George Washington next week, and is it Thomas Jefferson the week after? You know, you all, you really do have to ask yourself, where does it stop? The president's the right. Statues of Robert E. Lee stay up. The answer is, it's not to going a to. Local this is Marxism. Classic Marxism. Or the federal government, they are embracing on American against the Confederacy. One small piece at a time. They're going to come for other American history icons. They're going to come for the. I'm not putting anybody on a moral plane. What I'm saying is this: You had a group on one side, and you had a group on the other, and they came at each other with clubs, and it was vicious, and it was horrible, and it was a horrible thing to watch. But there is another side. There was a group on this side, you can call them the left, you've just called them the left, that came violently attacking the other group. So you can say what you want, but that's the way it is. This is why I like President Trump so much. He is a great commander in chief. Well, I do think there's blame, yes. I think there's blame on both sides. And he calls it out for exactly what it is. I think there's blame on both sides, and I have no doubt about it, and you don't have any doubt about it either. And, only and, 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 and if you reported it accurately, you would say. You're absolutely correct, Mr. President, but they what strong. they report me, is not they what they are. It doesn't and you fit their very bad people in that group. So they're going to lie. But you also had people that were very fine people on both sides. The president's absolutely you had people correct. In that group, Not excuse every me, person excuse me. At I saw the same pictures as you did. You had people, people in that there group were people that there. were there to protest they just the taking to mix down of, to them with the a wrong very, crowd very important statue and, and the renaming the media, of a course, park from Robert E. Lee to another name. George Washington was a slave owner. From my point of view, was this George is Washington the most important a slave question that President So will Trump George Washington now lose his status? Where are we going to take down George Washington? Excuse me. Thomas are we going to take down? Are we going to take down statues to George Washington? How about Thomas Jefferson? What do you think of Thomas Jefferson? You yes, like him? They are going to come for Okay, good. Are we going to take down the statue because he was a major slave owner? Now we're going to take down his statue. So you know what? It's fine. You're changing history. You're changing culture, and you had people, for. and I'm not talking about the neo-Nazis and the, the white nationalists, society. because they should Thank be you condemned for visiting totally. My channel and but you had many video. people in that group really other than neo-Nazis and white nationalists, for you guys. okay? Thank and you the so press much. Has treated Please them like, share, and subscribe. Unfairly. And don't forget to click the notification bell if you'd like to have notifications. God bless. Whoa.